um, God feels collective grief and aches for humanity and feels pain? No. God does feel your emotion, but God does not experience your emotion. Can you do you know the different like what I'm saying? Like so God knows what you're feeling, but God does not feel the pain along with you. And when you become a God we at one with God, you will know exactly what your next door neighbour is feeling, but you will not have to feel their emotion with them. It's exactly the same principle. Right? So you will know everyone's emotion in this room, you will know. But you will not cry because she feels like crying and you won't you will feel your own emotion still. And that's how God is too with us. Um, AJ, is there another way besides crying? Because we haven't actually heard, I still don't know about the passport. <laughs> like perfection or imperfection, whichever. It's Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Is experiencing either the need to be perfect or the imperfection. I'm still not clear on that. The issue is more does, to do with how it felt being a yeah. child. Yeah, like having to people. having to feel like she's got to be perfect all the time, mm -hmm. and there will certainly be a lot of tears that she'll express about that issue. But is there another way besides crying? Do you want there what to be about... another way? <laughs> do you want there to be another way? Absolutely. Because I'm doing all <laughs> work. I have to agree with the lady. It depends which work you're doing yep. as, as well. It, it depends. <laughs> so if you're doing a certain job, the real, you couldn't be crying all the time. Can you see what you're trying to do, though? Um, I knew you'd switch it back to that. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you ask the question? Because I'm going to carry on and ask you. Yeah. You said, would you like it to happen any other way? I mean, can't you do the breathing that no one can notice? Can't you do the thigh motion? You can try to do all those things if you want. I'm but not saying it won't work. No. It's got to be. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be crying. Well, well, let's look at the different emotions. When you when you feel like joy, what do you what do you do? Okay, oh, you laugh, eh? Hey? Oh, you just don't breathe. Like, for what? Don't you? If you really feel mirthful, what do you do? You laugh your head off, don't you? You laugh till you cry, all that stuff. When I'm saying, control. what do you do? Oh, see, see? What's this inappropriate thing? I'm a palliative care nurse and I'm into, that's what I've done for eight years, and there are lots of times it's inappropriate to laugh, and it's actually in, it's very appropriate to cry sometimes, but not about your emotions. <laughs> because you're with the person, you're not with yourself. Does God think this? Does God think your emotions are ever inappropriate? Never. I'm, I'm not at one with God, so I don't know. Well, what do you think? Yeah. Do you think God would ever feel that your emotions are inappropriate? No. Ever? Well, to show, you know, to uh, experience them. You know, you said you could feel them. Then you've got to experience them. Well, experiencing say, them is feeling them. But is God... there, no, you said feeling... You can feel something, but you don't have to actually experience No, I said basically you can sense the emotion from somebody, yeah. but experiencing it is like you're actually experiencing it is really feeling it for yourself, right? So, yeah. so you're saying you're feeling your emotions under certain circumstances is inappropriate. Is that uh, what you're saying? Experiencing them, yes, because yeah. your needs are secondary. No, I don't want to know the reason why you believe it, because it's wrong. <laughs> so you're saying just go around crying whenever you have to. Sorry? Just yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whenever, wherever, doesn't yeah. matter who, who else is going to be affected by you. Yeah. Try it, try it, try it. That's right. Can you make it till you make it? Oh. Maybe if you don't like it, you can't express yourself there. Are there any other parts? <laughs> Are there any other parts? <laughs> 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 That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that your emotion is never inappropriate. Well, I'll be crying all the time next week. That's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. I, I'm not telling you. Anything. But can you see the feeling you have? What's the feeling you have? It's not okay. You have this feeling. It's not okay. Why isn't it okay? It's a fear you have. And all you're doing at the moment is voicing your fear. What's the fear? No, I, I didn't really want to do this. 
Are you backing out now on me? Can't you breathe through it? Can't you do something else besides showing the world that you're crying tears? Ah, now we're getting to the real issue. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Because I'm with families and dying people, and we're not talking any age group here. We're talking about people yep. that are dying yes. with their little ones coming to see them. Yes. Now, I can cry with them, and anybody in... You know, this sort of work. You can cry with them yeah. and feel their pain, yeah. but you can't be crying for you because that has to wait. It's yeah. like a mother and her children. She'll put her husband and her children first, yeah. and she'll sort herself out. And this is where it all begins. Yes. Yes. This is where it all begins, and it's all, it's all gonna cause grief. Honestly, we need to experience our emotions 100% of the time. That's how God made you. The only you have a fear here. The fear is you are going to get judged if you feel your emotions. You're going to have pain from others if you feel your emotions. You feel it's inappropriate. These are all childhood beliefs that entered you that you are going to need to feel before you're going to be able to feel your emotions. Well, I look to others. If we're talking that way, look to others' needs first. And that is actually incorrect. Do you think God wants you to look at others' needs first? But we're not realised. We're not at one with God. So I know. See, that's, that's what I call an excuse. After we are told to look after ourselves first, and then look after our See, we often use excuses in order to not feel. We use excuses to not feel. So it also might be one of those times where you go through something and then you realise, gee, I'm not in the right job for me to be able to be my true self. Yeah, and if you're not in the right job, then pray for a different job and you'll, and if it's a heart longer, you'll, you'll go there. Mm -hmm. But you might be in the right job for your soul to go through that emotion. Mm -hmm. see, see, a lot of times what we do is we avoid situations... And we pray to avoid situations when in reality our souls created that situation exactly for the emotion that we need to trigger. Right? I was talking a few days ago with a lady who rang me from Western Australia. She, she has had, her husband left her 10 years ago and he still rings her up and abuses her. <laughs> and she takes it. And she gets off the phone, she yells and screams at him back. Right? And then gets off the phone really angry and upset. What's happening? She's still attracting it. She's attracting it. She's attracting it and she doesn't want to deal with the underlying emotion. That's why she yells and screams back. Right? And the truth, the truth is that the excuse that you're using is, I'm in a public setting, I can't feel my emotion. I've got to do it appropriately. That is an excuse, that is an emotion within you. God doesn't feel that way. And then you use another excuse saying, but I'm not God at one with God yet, so I'm allowed to get away with that. Well, you can get away with it for as long as you want. You've got free will. I agree. But do you want to? Don't you want to be at one with God? Mm. Or do you want to be, uh, like, separate from God all well, the time? Well, my original question was, is there any other way besides God? <laughs> <laughs> and I answered it. I, I, I just said, I just said no. <laughs> All of those things detune you from your emotion. They do. So it's not to be crying. I'm worried about my. If you're sad. Yeah. Well. Well. If 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 it's sadness or grief, yes. If it's sadness or grief, cry. If you're happy, laugh. I know, see what you're wanting to do? Select it. Remember what I said humility was right at the start. What did I say? Feeling every emotion, whether it's painful or pleasurable. That's what I said humility was. Now, you can choose to not be humble if you want and only experience the pleasurable ones and no painful ones, but what's going to happen is more and more pain in your life. No, I meant at work. I don't care where you're meant. At work, I'm talking specifically. I know that's what you're talking about. I heard it many times. <laughs> Trust me, I did. I mean, 
If you feel like laughing, you're allowed to laugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but that's just... But that feeling that of you come to you in that situation, you feel like you're laughing. And that's the water laugh, like the laugh, the laugh of knowing, you know, that this is all, you know, a dream. Like the Buddha laugh. <laughs> the Buddha laugh. But the person around the bedside, you're with, that was just as they're dying. Yeah. They're not going to... That's unloving. That's, un you know, that's unloving. Isn't it? No. What's, what's unloving is for you to suppress any of your own emotion. That's unloving towards you. Now, be, be, one thing all of you need to realise about love is love does not treat another person like you, like differently to yourself. So, so I won't let you cry while I'm not allowing myself to cry. I won't shut down you, or I won't allow. Like I will always do things within myself that allows both of us to experience our emotions. Right? That's what love does. As soon as I shut down myself, I am no longer being loving to myself. And from God's perspective, you are just as important as the person next to you. So if you feel like laughing and the person next to you feels like crying. You're both allowed to do that right at the same moment if you want. And if it's loving, it's truth, then both will feel okay. Exactly. You won't be projecting blame or anger or upset with each other. You won't be judging each other because you'll both be owning your own emotion. Okay?